Prodigy here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ruby. In the last episode, we made our way here to Fortree City after taking down Team Magma in the Weather Institute. And as you saw from that little beginning, a little bit of grinding, you can clearly see the team has changed quite a bit in terms of the levels. So, uh, Vigoroth went up to level 35 and did learn itself, uh, Slash. Uh, Toadhead went up to 34, didn't learn anything. Metroid went up to 34, didn't learn anything, Joey didn't learn anything, and went up to level 35. I didn't train Nimbus that much because, you know, I don't really see myself using it in the upcoming gym ahead. So I just went it up to level 30 and it didn't learn anything too different. Now Laron did learn Rock Tomb uh, via TM that I, you know, did teach it. So yeah, and obviously, you know, the two evolved, Tentacool and Auron did evolve. So that's pretty great. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's not go into this house, okay? We want to make a way past the house and also past the gym because we are not going to the gym in today's episode well at least not now but right now what we need to do is we need to head this way into route 120 and you know this is where I did a lot of my grinding so we just grind it up on the little Pokemon in the wild and some of these trainers it's in a way of familiar faces right here so let's go ahead and talk to him hmm purple G hi it's been a while there's something here that you can't see right enough I would use the device on the invisible obstacle no no rather than describing it I should just show you That'd be more fun. Purple G, are your Pokemon ready for battle? So show me your true powers of trainer. So he's going to use the Devon Scope, and he's going to reveal that there is a Kecleon in the way. So we are going to have to battle said Kecleon. So here we go. We got ourselves this nice little level 30 Kecleon. Now I'm not going to be using a Kecleon anytime soon, or at least not at all even. So we're just going to go ahead and take it down with a slash. Nothing too difficult, so we're gonna gain some XP. We went up to level 36. Yeah, with Vigoroth, I did quite a bit of training. And as you can see, bringing it up to level 36 uh, allows it to evolve into something something a lot stronger than it ever was before. Something that is, you know, a ginormous Pokemon that is very, 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 very powerful. And as you can see, the silhouette is about to be unreal, 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 if that makes sense, revealed, is what I'm trying to say. And congratulations, our Koji has evolved, has evolved into Sly King. And he's trying to learn Swagger. Do we want Swagger? I don't know. I couldn't even English right there. Sorry about that. Whoops. But anyway, uh, I don't think we're actually going to learn Swagger. I think we're fine without it. Because, I mean, 
even if it doesn't get confused, it's not that worth it because it boosts the attack of the Pokemon. But anyway, I see your battle is your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. I like it out of this Devon Scope. Who knows there may be other concealed Pokemon. So we've obtained the Devon Scope, and this is going to help us later on down the line. So yeah, let's get rid of let's get rid of all this dialogue, and he's gonna want us to meet again somewhere. So we will meet again, Steven, one day. One day. One day, hopefully very soon. And of course we're running into wild Pokemon in the grass. Oh look at that, it's a little uh, little zigzagoon. Yeah, we don't we don't really care. Now one thing that's really uh, that's quite bad about, you know, Slay King is that, you know, we do have to deal with Truant now, once again. But luckily for us, Slay King has amazing attacks, so you know, it kinda it kinda kinda balances out more or less. But anyway, let's go ahead and make our way down here. As you can see, there's something blocking the way, so we're gonna use the Devon Scope. And it is another Kecleon, but this Kecleon does not battle you, it runs away. So let's go ahead and read the sign right here. Fortress City Pokemon Gym, Leader Winona, the bird user taking flight into the world. So we are going to be challenging Winona in today's episode. So the gym puzzle is nothing, you know, too difficult. Actually, hold on, before we go ahead and do that, we do not want Slay King in the beacon in the front. We want our Kaido because he has the rock type advantage. We hold the elegant style of bird Pokemon. Alright, so this trainer's gonna battle us up first. It's probably gonna be a bird catcher, just like, or bird, bird keeper. Bird keeper Jarrett. He's gonna have a little do, uh, do duo. I don't think it's gonna be too much of a challenge. We're just gonna go ahead and use Rock Tomb. And it's gonna use tri -Tac. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, we're fine. We're totally fine. Alright, let's go ahead and use Rock Tomb. That should get rid of the do duo quite easily. Yep, alright, pretty easy. And that should be the end of the battle. So today is a, uh, you know, a good Tuesday. A good Tuesday is the day, you know, I'm recording this and getting it up for you guys. So, you know, it's a nice good Tuesday. You know, Tuesdays are usually days where, you know, they're pretty good. Usually Tuesdays aren't bad days. But anyway, yeah, we got another trainer up ahead. So, yeah, the lack of videos has been, you know, a little bit of a problem lately. So that is because, you know, there's uh, been a ton of, like, vacations relating kind of things. So, you know, you know, taking a break once in a while is good but you know obviously i don't want to take too long of a break so you know i want to make sure i stay you know consistent with these videos and not just disappear for you know pretty much like an entire month so anyway I'm trying my best but you know if it doesn't work out then you know oh well i guess you know but i will i'm trying i'm trying to stay consistent as best as humanly possible okay how do we do this okay, hopefully i did that right and then do this wait hold on what do we do here Oh no, we go down, and then, yeah, there we go, and then we come back around, and there we go. Okay, pretty easy puzzle right there, so let's dodge these trainers, because we have no intention of battling them today. So what we need to do is we do this. So the gym isn't too difficult, you just have to, you know, know how to move these little panels. It is different from Omega Ruby and Apple Sapphire's gym puzzle, but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and make our way to the gym leader. So let's go ahead and talk to her, if I can not walk faster. I'm Winona, I'm the leader of the Fortree Pokemon Gym. I've become one of the Pokemon and I've soared the skies. However, grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of Bird Pokemon and I. Alright, those are some pretty big words for a children's game. I don't think you know the average, like, seven-year-old playing this game back in, you know, what, 2003, 2004? Whenever this game came out, you know, would know how to say choreography. But anyway, let's go and use Rock... T oh, no. Are you really just gonna use Double Team? Please don't tell me you're gonna do that. Please tell me you're not going to do that. I mean, at least we hit, thank goodness. But please tell me you're not just going to spam double team. That did a lot of damage, actually. Okay. That works out. Uh, let's go and use rock team again. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Fine. You go ahead and do that. You go ahead and do that. You're not using double teams, you know. It all works out in my favor. It's fine by me. So let's use another rock team. And it is going to KO. So I'm wondering why I didn't KO the first time. Maybe it was some sort of high roll or something like that. But anyway, let's go ahead. Oh, she has an Altaria. Okay, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think we should go into Slay King. I think we should go into Slay King, because this, this thing is a dragon type, so... And Slay King most likely has the most defense out of our entire team, so... You know, we're going to rely on Slay King to, you know, hopefully take down this Hauteria. Alright, first things first, we're going to go and use Yawn, because, you know, we want to make sure that we don't get ourselves in any predicaments. Say this thing has, like, Karate Chop or something like that. That is very scary. That is actually very scary. Okay. I didn't expect it to have Dragon Dance. Okay, well, let's go and use Slash. Please don't... Dragon Breath? Oh, we take that. Oh, but of course we're paralyzed. Are you kidding me? Really? Alright, we are loafing around because, you know, because of the Truant. But hopefully this thing is gonna... 
Oh no, that's not good. That is not good in the slightest. And we're paralyzed, we can't move. Okay, Truant with Paralysis is not good as whatsoever. Do we have any sort of... We have full heals, let's go ahead and use one of these. So there we go. And it was Dragon Breath, not like, whatever it was, uh, Thunder Wave or anything like that. So, hopefully we don't get paralyzed again. But we are going to use Slash, hopefully this thing... Yes, okay. So a lot of damage, a lot of damage. So, okay, this is actually really nerve-wracking. Usually the gyms are, you know, quite easy, aside from, you know, Watson a while ago. But we are confused, so, you know, that... That doesn't work out too well, but we are loafing around, so, you know, that's going to prevent us from being confused and hitting ourselves. He's going to try to use water. Oh, are you kidding me? Please don't tell me you're just going to keep on doing this. Please tell me you're not going to do this. Please, Pelipper, please tell me you're not just going to sit here using Protect over and over and over again. Or we are loafing around. Oh, it's going to just sit here and use Protect over and over again. Isn't that what it's going to do? It's not using Protect. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Good. All right, Pelipper goes down. So two out of four Pokemon taken down. All right, this is pretty scary. A Skarmory. Okay, what are we gonna do? We should go into Joey. We should go into Joey because we do have the fire typing. So hopefully that's gonna come into play. Although this thing is a flying type as well. So, you know, I mean, this is a little bit risky, but let's go and use Ember. It outspeeds and it's okay. Never mind. we live. We live somehow. All right, it's gonna use Ember and hopefully that's gonna do. Okay, good amount. Is it gonna burn it? No, it's gonna withdraw. Burn. Please tell me you're gonna burn. Burn it. Burn it. Please. Please burn it. Please burn it. Okay, never mind. It's not going to. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's my strategy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to heal up our team. Where is it? There's some soda pops. We'll get some soda pops. And... Oh, actually, no. I don't know. Maybe we should use something else. Maybe we should use something else. This is 50, right? We do have some hyper potions, although do I want to use them now? Yes, I do, because this is a Slay King. Alright, so let's go ahead and use that, and yeah, I'm sorry about this, Joey, you are gonna kinda have to be... Earthquake? I mean, it was Death Potter anyway, but really? Earthquake? Jeez, I mean, oh my gosh. This thing also probably has nat natural cure, because it did it did lose its, uh, its sleep status, so you know, it probably does have natural cure, so at least we know what it, its ability is. So anyway... It's going to use Dragon Breath. Please don't paralyze us. Please, please don't do it. Okay. So we are going to loaf around next turn, but we are going to go for the Slash. Hopefully this is going to put on a good amount of damage. It's going to use Dragon Dance once again. So, it, or not once again, but, well, kind of. I don't even know what I'm saying. It erased its stat changes because of the fact that it did switch out. But it's not going to par paralyze us. It's going to withdraw again, and it's going to go into the Skarmory. Okay. Very interesting strategy coming from Winona. That does nothing. That is a little bit scary. Okay, what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? Do we have any Pokemon that can possibly take this thing down? We have Metroid. We do have Metroid. Here's what we're gonna do. We can try to go into Metroid and potentially, you know, surf. Surf this thing to death, if that makes any sense. It's gonna go for Steel Wing. Please don't tell him that's... No, we're Poison type, so that shouldn't be too much. Alright, so let's go and use Surf. Hopefully this is gonna put on a good amount of damage and hopefully KO the Skarmory. Alright, there we go. Critical hit. Hopefully that wasn't, you know, required. Or anything like that. We are going to gain some XP points, so that's good. And she's going to go into the Altaria once again. Alright, so here's... We gotta make up a strategy. We gotta get a strategy going. Alright, we're going to go into our Slay King. So hopefully, you know, get us another sleep. Another sleep status condition on it. Because of the fact that this thing... Because of the fact that Winona is now at a Pokemon, aside from the Altaria, it shouldn't be able to, you know, swap out and take advantage of its natural cure ability. So... You can use Dragon Breath, don't paralyze. Okay, luckily it didn't, so we're gonna loaf around once again. It's gonna use Dragon Breath, and it's gonna paralyze. Okay, it's not gonna paralyze. Okay, we're actually getting really lucky. We're getting really lucky. Alright, Slash. Oh! Okay, this is a really good strategy. This is a really good strategy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here is what we are going to do. We are going to use a Hyper Potion to fully heal up, because I'm not taking any chances. I am not taking any chances whatsoever. So Altaria is going to wake up, Dragon Breath, alright, yeah, okay, let's go and use Slash, and hopefully finish the thing off, there we go, alright, that Altaria was a little bit scary, but luckily we were able to beat it with our Koji, never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I, in recognition of your prowess, I present you with this gym badge, we got 3,000 for winning, and we have, we have successfully received the Feather Badge from Winona, so congratulations to us, only two more badges, with the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You'll also be able to use the HM Move Fly outside of battle. And take this, this is the gift from me. 
So this is most likely going to be Aerial Ace, as majority of our Pokemon have that move. Yep, Aerial Ace. It's speed. No, Pokemon should should be able to avoid it. Okay, I uh, don't know what your dialogue there was. But anyway, let's go ahead and make our way out of the gym. So that was a pretty tough gym fight, not going to lie. But, you know, now we have the ability to fly. So actually, you know, first things first. What we are going to do is we're going to go into our bag right here, boot up our HM fly, and move over down to our Nimbus, and you know, go ahead and teach it to fly. So we'll move should be forgotten. I think we should get rid of Peck. Or maybe Astonish. I think we'll get rid of Astonish. I don't see myself using it too much. We don't get stabbed, we don't get anything. And it's a pretty weak move nonetheless, so let's go ahead and make our way over to the Pokemon Center, you know, to heal up our team. And you know, all will be well in the world. So, let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, that was a that was a pretty tough gym fight, not gonna lie. Luckily, we did have our, uh, you know, all-powerful Slay King, you know, to take all the attacks from the Altaria. So, luckily for us, Pat's on the back, all, uh, all things considered. So anyway, with that out of the way, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, episode. If you guys did enjoy, then feel free to leave this video a like, and maybe even a comment. And if you really wanted to, you can even subscribe to be notified of when future videos come out. And that is all I have for now. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.